Hi, my name is Mike Pavelinen. I'm the assistant golf professional here at Overland Park Golf Course. We're going to go through the golf bag here, kind of give you a little tutorial of what I have and why I have it. So first, let's start with the driver. We have the driver here. It's got a Garofalo Blue Tour X. It's a very low spin, very low torquing driver. I swing pretty aggressively, and I like to keep the golf ball a little bit lower, a little more penetrating ball flight off the tee. We have a Ping I-20, nine and a half degree. It's a little bit older generation club. Uh, I've gone with the latest and greatest and just didn't find that it worked best for me. Sometimes newer isn't the best. You can deal with some older stuff and they still have very quality products. Next, we're gonna go into the three wood. I have a Callaway Rogue three wood, a 13 degree. It's actually called a three plus. What the plus means is that it's a little bit stronger loft. It's more of a driving fairway wood as opposed to hitting it off the deck or off of the fairway or off the ground. It's got a Hazardous Project X shaft in it. 6.5 means that it's an X flex. Then we go into a Callaway Rogue 2 iron hybrid. Same idea, Project X even flow golf shaft with 85 grams. The two 17 degrees. The 17 degrees is almost like a driving iron. As far as the irons go, we have the four and the five and the six are in a cavity back. Cavity back meaning that it's got a little bit more girth to the golf club. The MOI, the moment of inertia, is a little bit higher, so that allows the stability of the club head to be a little bit better on off-center hits. When I get down to the seven, eight, and nine irons, you can see that they're more of the old blade style. Gives me a little bit more feel on the club head. Uh, miss hits are gonna be a little a little more exaggerative. Uh, the wedges, the wedges are Mac Daddy 4 wedge, 58 degrees aloft, 10 degrees of bounce. Bounce is essentially an anti-dig mechanism which allows the club to kind of level out through impact. Uh, that way we're not digging too down. With Denver, we have clay-based soil, so we don't want to have too much bounce because then we'll get a bouncing effect. We also want too little because then we'll dig into the ground and be a little bit too aggressive. Last but not least, we have the putter. I have an old Scotty Cameron. It's a Newport mill spec. I've got some lead tape on the bottom of it. I didn't like how light the head was, so I rolled with a little lead tape to make the head a little bit more, a little heavier at the bottom so I could feel the swing a little bit more. All right, on the outside of the golf bag, we have club brush. Keep those grooves clean. Grooves are water displacement, allows the club, and cut the club face and the golf ball to get better contact. Gives us a little bit more spin, a little more control over the golf ball. Very important. You can use the black side to clean your grips, that way you don't have to buy new grips as often as you usually think you might. Got an umbrella. This time of year we want to make sure we're prepared for the weather, especially here in Colorado. We get those late afternoon thunderstorms, we want to make sure we're prepared for those. I've also got some rain gear in this big pocket, I've got the cover, I've got a jacket in here also. I've got some hand warmers. I've got a booklet where I keep a lot of information on my rounds, and then I've also got a game, golf games, side wagers, have a little fun with the buddies, some different options for us. I got balls in here, I've got teas, I've got some snacks and some food, some stuff for us to make sure that we're staying hydrated, and I got a range finder and I got some teas on this side. Got the alignment sticks, these are more for practice rather than for play. Um, just gets me set up, gets me aligned, gets me set up to the golf ball properly. Again, my name is Mike Pavelinen, an assistant golf professional here at Overland Park Golf Course, uh, and that's what's in the bag.